In the extraordinary spreading out of the cutting edge universe, people have long taken apart whether we're remote from each other. We've taken a gander at the stars, checked on the colossal plans of universes, and not entirely set in stone to view as the potential for life past our little blue planet. That potential has at last come to culmination. Actually, NASA's chief analyst revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope, our window to the universe, has chosen something super. Set yourself up on the edges of our incomprehensible time. A phenomenal secret has been uncovered. Life has been perceived on a world implied as Proxima B, and it changes everything. The investigation of the environments of exoplanets that pass before their stars obliges us as we uncover the insider facts revealed by the James Webb Telescope and what the discovery of life on Proxima could mean for what's in store for space investigation and all humankind. The James Webb Space Telescope is a wonder that contributes to changing how we decipher the universe. The telescope's high-level construction, combined with its exceptional situation in space, gives scientists an unparalleled perspective on the universe. Moreover, it grants them to zero in on faraway grandiose plans, planets, and stars in a manner that was never possible before. This could appear to be a lot of void cases, but it's actually got the tech to make all of that genuine. One of JWST's most critical abilities is its essential mirror, which measures 6.5 m in width. This is north of two times the size of the essential mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been quite possibly the most critical device for space investigation in recent years. With such a gigantic mirror, JWST can catch the smallest glimmers of light from the farthest reaches of the universe, elements that the realm of science hasn't forever had the option to see. Scientists have long speculated about what lies past the restrictions of a conventional telescope, but with this one, they can at long last see the genuine detail they've been dreaming about. This time it's not only its enormous mirror, the JWST is outfitted with a setup of bleeding-edge instruments capable of detecting a tremendous scope of light frequencies. The Close Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, as it's usually called, is a powerful asset designed to capture images in the close to infrared district of the electromagnetic range. Why is that significant? Well, close to infrared light can infiltrate dust and mist that blocks apparent light, permitting us to see further into the vast depths of space. NERCOM's high-resolution imaging capabilities give space experts an unmatched view to inspect the development of stars and universes. This astounding instrument's essential goals remember focusing for the early universe and its generally ancient light, examining the arrangement and development of systems, and distinguishing and describing exoplanets. The point-by-point -point pictures caught by NIRCAM reveal stowed-away subtleties and designs that were previously difficult to reach to telescopes. It empowers us to perceive how large-scale frameworks shape and advance over the long haul and gives bits of knowledge into the mysterious processes that shape our vast space and beyond. However, that's only one tool. There's likewise the near-infrared spectrograph, NIR spec, and IR spectroscopic capabilities, MIRI, which take the investigation of stars and cosmic systems to an uncommon level by isolating the light transmitted by divine objects into its part tones or frequencies. This technique, known as spectroscopy, gives imperative data about the compound piece, temperature, and arrangement of these articles, enhancing cosmologists' capacity to investigate the complicated functions of stars and systems. It gives scientists exact insights into all that it inspects, focusing on the absorption and emanation lines in the spectra permits researchers to decide the elements present in a star or gas cloud, revealing the structure blocks of our universe. This data empowers us to comprehend the existence cycles of stars, the arrangement of systems, and the complex associations between these divine bodies. Moreover, NIR spec assumes a critical part in the investigation of distant high redshift cosmic systems. These worlds transmit light that has voyaged billions of years to contact us, giving a brief look into the beginnings of the universe. Exploring their spectra makes a difference cosmologists figure out their synthetic creation, age, and other qualities, revealing insight into the all-inclusive development of universes all through vast history. Regarding the mid-infrared region of the electromagnetic range, the mid-infrared instrument MIRI on the JWST has been explicitly intended to look at objects transmitting infrared radiation at longer frequencies. This capacity permits us to investigate different peculiarities, from the arrangement of stars to the discovery of exoplanet climates.
One of Miri's essential objectives is to study the dusty regions where stars are conceived. Infrared radiation can penetrate these thick residue mists, permitting Miri to look through the astronomical dimness and witness the introduction of stars and planetary frameworks. It catches point-by-point -point pictures and spectra in the mid-infrared range, offering cosmologists critical bits of knowledge into the cycles happening inside these divine nurseries. However, that's not all. Miri likewise assumes a critical job in the quest for and portrayal of exoplanets. It does as such by observing in the mid-infrared, permitting Miri to distinguish and break down the faint warm emanations of exoplanet atmospheres. This capacity opens up valuable open doors for examining the synthesis, temperature, and qualities of exoplanets, including their potential habitability. Miri's perceptions assist us with deciding the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other key atoms that could show the circumstances necessary for life. These are just the parts that could uphold life. How does the James Webb Telescope search for indications of something occurring beneath the surface? Two of the essential techniques it utilizes are spectroscopy and transit observations. At the core of this work lies spectroscopy, a method that permits researchers to analyze the light transmitted or absorbed by an object to determine its composition. With regards to exoplanets, Spectroscopy helps us interpret the atomic secrets hidden within their atmospheres. When the JWST focuses on an exoplanet, it eagerly awaits a transit event, a strike event where the exoplanet passes before its host star from our viewpoint. As this happens, the JWST simply observes the starlight passing through the exoplanet's atmosphere during the transit. Equipped with its advanced instruments, the JWST captures this vital light with NSPEC succeeding in the near-infrared range while Miri takes charge in the mid-infrared space. Together they form a dynamic duo covering a wide scope of frequencies fundamental for in-depth investigation. You might be considering what's the big deal about catching starlight during a transit. Well, this starlight contains essential information about the exoplanet's atmospheric composition. As the light passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, it interacts with different particles present, leaving specific fingerprints or molecular signatures on the starlight. The JWST then meticulously analyzes the filtered light using its spectroscopic capabilities. Scientists can identify specific atoms present in the exoplanet's atmosphere by analyzing the absorption or emission lines in the light spectrum. Each particle has its unique set of spectral features, so they simply need to be pinned down and listed to piece the whole story together accurately. To get precise results, the JWST conducts extensive modeling and analysis. It relies on complex simulations and reference spectra of known atoms to match the observed spectral features with their corresponding atomic identities. Think of it like cross-referencing a celestial dictionary to decipher the exoplanet's atmospheric language. Distinguishing the presence of specific particles is only the beginning. The search for signs of something going on deep down requires a more nuanced approach. Scientists search for particles considered biomarkers, substances that could be associated with life. These biomarkers could include gases like oxygen, methane, and water vapor, elements essential for supporting life on Earth. However, more insights and data are needed to assess the overall habitability and potential signs of organic activity. To enhance the search for life, the JWST supplements its spectroscopic capabilities with other observational techniques. In the vast domain of the universe, people have long questioned whether we're alone. We've looked at the stars, examined distant universes, and embarked on a quest to discover the potential for life beyond our small blue planet. That potential has at long last been realized. NASA's chief recently revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope, our window to the universe, has found something remarkable. Prepare yourself. On the edges of our vast timetable, a fantastic mystery has been revealed. Life has been sighted on a world called Proxima b, and it changes everything. The investigation of the atmospheres of exoplanets that pass before their stars obliges us as we uncover the secrets revealed by the James Webb Telescope and what the discovery of life on Proxima b could mean for the possible future of space exploration and all humanity. The James Webb Space Telescope is a scientific marvel that promises to change how we interpret the universe. The telescope's sophisticated technology, coupled with its unique role in space, gives scientists an unprecedented view of the universe 
and it allows them to focus on distant cosmic structures, planets, and stars in a way that has never been possible before. This may sound like a lot of empty claims, but it has the tech to make all of that real. One of JWST's most impressive features is its primary mirror, which measures 6.5 m in diameter. This is over two times the size of the primary mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been one of the most significant tools for space exploration in recent years. With such a massive mirror, the JWST can capture the faintest glint of light from the farthest parts of the universe, elements that the realm of science hasn't always been able to see. Scientists have long speculated about what lies beyond the boundaries of a conventional telescope, but with this one, they can at last see the real detail they've been longing for. This time, not just its huge mirror, the JWST is equipped with an array of state-of-the-art instruments that are capable of detecting a wide variety of frequencies of light. The Close Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, as it's commonly known, is a crucial tool designed to capture images in the near-infrared range of the electromagnetic spectrum. Why is this important? Well, near-infrared light can penetrate dust clouds that block visible light, allowing us to see deeper into the vast depths of space. NERCOM's high-resolution imaging capabilities provide astronomers with an unparalleled view to examine the evolution of stars and galaxies. The primary objectives of this remarkable instrument include focusing on the early universe and its relatively ancient light, studying the formation and evolution of galaxies, and identifying and characterizing exoplanets. The detailed descriptions captured by NIRCAM reveal hidden details and patterns that were previously inaccessible to telescopes. It enables us to understand how large-scale systems form and evolve over time, and provides insights into the mysterious processes that shape our vast space and beyond. However, that's only one tool. There's also the near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSpec, and IR spectroscopic capabilities, MIRI, which take the study of stars and galaxies to an unprecedented level by separating the light emitted by celestial objects into its component colors or frequencies. This technique, known as spectroscopy, provides vital information about the chemical composition, temperature, and structure of these objects, enhancing astronomers' ability to explore the intricate workings of stars and galaxies. It gives scientists precise insights into everything it examines. Focusing on the absorption and emission lines in the spectra allows researchers to determine the elements present in a star or gas cloud, revealing the building blocks of our universe. This information enables us to understand the life cycles of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the complex interactions between these celestial bodies. Furthermore, NIRSpec also plays a critical role in the study of distant high redshift galaxies. These galaxies emit light that has traveled billions of years to reach us, providing a glimpse into the origins of the universe. Exploring their spectra helps astronomers determine their chemical composition, age, and other characteristics, shedding light on the universal evolution of galaxies throughout cosmic history. Regarding scrutinizing the mid-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, on the JWST has been specifically designed to examine objects emitting infrared radiation at longer frequencies. This capability allows us to explore various phenomena, from the formation of stars to the detection of exoplanet atmospheres. One of MIRI's primary goals is to study the dusty regions where stars are born. Infrared radiation can penetrate these dense dust clouds, allowing MIRI to peer through the astronomical darkness and witness the birth of stars and planetary systems. It captures detailed images and spectra in the mid-infrared range, offering astronomers critical insights into the processes occurring inside these celestial nurseries. However, that's not all. MIRI also plays a significant role in the search for and characterization of exoplanets. It does so by observing in the mid-infrared, allowing MIRI to detect and analyze the faint thermal emissions of exoplanet atmospheres. This capability opens up valuable opportunities for studying the composition, temperature, and characteristics of exoplanets, including their potential habitability. MIRI's observations help us determine the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other key molecules that could indicate the conditions necessary for life. These are just the components that could support life. How does the James Webb Telescope search for signs of something happening beneath the surface? Two of the primary methods it uses are spectroscopy and transit observations. 
At the heart of this work lies spectroscopy, a technique that allows scientists to examine the light transmitted or absorbed by an object to determine its composition. With regards to exoplanets, spectroscopy helps us interpret the atomic secrets hidden within their atmospheres. When the JWST focuses on an exoplanet, it eagerly awaits a transit event, a remarkable event where the exoplanet passes before its host star from our perspective. As this happens, the JWST simply observes the starlight passing through the exoplanet's atmosphere during the transit. Equipped with its advanced instruments, the JWST captures this essential light with NSPEC succeeding in the near-infrared range while MIRI takes charge in the mid-infrared space. Together they form a dynamic duo covering a wide range of frequencies essential for in-depth investigation. You might be wondering what's the big deal about catching starlight during a transit. Well, this starlight contains crucial information about the exoplanet's atmospheric composition. As the light passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, it interacts with various particles present, leaving specific fingerprints or molecular signatures on the starlight. The JWST then meticulously analyzes the filtered light using its spectroscopic capabilities. Scientists can identify specific molecules present in the exoplanet's atmosphere by examining the absorption or emission lines in the light spectrum. Each molecule has its unique set of spectral features, so they just need to be pinned down and listed to piece the whole story together accurately. To get precise results, the JWST conducts extensive modeling and analysis. It relies on sophisticated simulations and reference spectra of known molecules to match the observed spectral features with their corresponding atomic identities. Think of it like cross-referencing a celestial dictionary to decipher the exoplanet's atmospheric language. Distinguishing the presence of specific molecules is just the beginning. The search for signs of something happening deep down requires a more nuanced approach. Scientists look for molecules considered biomarkers, substances that could be associated with life. These biomarkers could include gases like oxygen, methane, and water vapor, elements essential for supporting life on Earth. However, more insights and data are needed to evaluate the overall habitability and potential signs of organic activity. To enhance the search for life, the JWST supplements its spectroscopic capabilities with other observational techniques.